Hey guys, how do you solve ideal gas law questions involving density? The key is to have a formula or know how to derive the formula on your own. Remember, density is mass over volume. Now, the way that mass is found in the ideal gas law equation is in N because the number of moles is the same as mass over molar mass. So check this out. I'm going to replace N with mass over molar mass. And then I'm going to rearrange for M over V. I'm going to undo division by molar mass on the other side. And then I'm going to undo multiplication by RT and bring my V over. Here's what I mean. P times the molar mass divided by RT gives me mass over volume. Mass over volume is density. And so my equation is density equals pressure times molar mass divided by RT. We can now use this equation to find the density of oxygen at 55 Celsius and 103 kilopascals. So let's do it. The density is pressure. That's 103 kilopascals times molar mass. For oxygen, that's 32 grams per mole. R. Now, I'm going to put my volume in liters, and uh, I'm going to put my pressure in kilopascals, which means the relevant R that I want is 8.314 liters kilopascals per mole Kelvin. And my temperature in Kelvin is the temperature in Celsius plus 273, which gives me 328 Kelvin. And all of these units should cancel out to give me a density unit. Kelvin cancels with Kelvin, per moles cancels with per moles, kilopascals cancel with kilopascals and I'm left with grams per liter. Let's do this on the calculator. 103 times 32 divided by 8.314 divided by 328. That's 1.21 grams per liter. May not seem like a lot, but remember you're dealing with a gas here. If you have a one liter balloon, how much is it actually going to weigh? Probably the amount of the rubber plus like a gram or so. This here is the density of oxygen gas at 55 and 103 kilopascals. This is your density formula in terms of the ideal gas law. Be able to use it. Best of luck.